Academic for Peace was established as an established a group of scholars, which is without a formal entity, in 2012, when the peace talks in Turkey just started to contribute to the peace talks. But many people know Peace of Academics just after, right after 2016 January, which in Turkey, in the uh, Kurdish population is living in the region, there were curfews, uh, and many people like around two million people were affected and disturbed by the curfews and uh, really violence, uh, police and military forces violence were affected. Uh, then we signed a petition, uh, like 1,200 scholars signed a petition, which make us not an organization, but a group of scholars uh, signed the same petition uh, to call the state for peace for the region and also stop the violence so that so we said we will not be part of this crime because it was a crime for us and around 90 from 90 universities 1200 scholars signed the same petition and now we are challenging with just after the coup attempt in July 2016 now the academics for peace is also still trying to start the uh, peace talks and uh, increase the awareness about peace uh, in Turkey and in the Kurdish region. And But now we are now challenging with the dismissal of many of our scholars, like 600 people have been dismissed after emergency decrees uh, because of the emergency state uh, situation in Turkey. Many of the dismissed academics and uh, some still not dismissed, but uh, they left the country and they are now living and some of them exiled in European cities. And now we are here in Germany, around a hundred people and most of them in Berlin. And we set an organization, uh, just part of the Peace of Academics in Turkey. We are Academics for Peace Germany. And now we are uh, on the stage of, on the phase of founding an organization, association on Academics for Peace Germany to find a way to uh, continue our studies and research, also what we are used to, and also to support our scholars, our friends and colleagues in Turkey. Uh, Authoritarianism in Turkey is not new to us and to the society, so we have been facing with authoritarian governments and authoritarian states since 100 years. Uh, so we know some ways and we know the ways how to struggle with the authoritarian governments and we are trying to find some channels through the system and right after many of our scholars have been dismissed, uh, we started to uh, establish solidarity academics in Turkey in many cities, also in small cities, mainly settled in Ankara and Istanbul. Uh, we try to find and we try to reach also the public and our students also on the streets or on, the, on some other meeting uh, halls and uh, meeting rooms just to keep on going what we are used to and give lectures also open to the public. So we try to find a channel to reach the public to and out of the university, out of the campuses on the streets and try to reach the public. We have uh, we are expecting from German and international academia to be aware of what's happening in Turkey and to be aware of what's happening to people who are opposing to authoritarianism in Turkey. So uh, we define the targeted boycott, international boycott for the universities and institutions in Turkey who are responsible and who dare to uh, dismiss 
the scholars, signatory scholars, which are opposing uh, opposing our opposing colleagues. Uh, so we defined this targeted boycott to finish or to stop their agreements or contracts with the institutions who are responsible for the oppression to this opposition in the university and in academia. People for who wants to check the uh, our websites uh, www uh, academic boycott for Turkey that wordpress dot com can be checked for what we are defining or what we are expecting from international academia. Regarding the educational field, since the coup attempts uh, in July, uh, like 4,000 teachers and academics and also 100,000 people were dismissed from civil servants and civil service. Uh, so the field of education lost many of its workers and many teachers and also the professors in university. So this is going to be this is going to affect also students and the educational field in the country as a whole. Uh, and we know there are a few universities and a few departments lost many of their professors and their scholars. So they had universities have been closed, some departments have been closed because of the dismissals. So this is going to affect all the educational fields starting from high schools and start starting from universities. So many of the lectures which are given by the scholars, signatory scholars, which are from critical perspective. So the students lost this critical, we lost this critical perspective in the university and in the academia. So this is going to be an, this kind of a brain drain. Many people are just going and leaving the country and moving to other countries, European countries, mainly European countries. It's a brain drain and it's gonna make the universities and the academia in Turkey like a desert without a color, without an opposition. What makes a university, what makes the academia is freedom of speech and uh, freedom of research. 